Hi, uh, Steve Midwell here, the resident eccentric at the Lenelson Center Spark Lab. I'm with you today to talk about one of our, my favorite inventors, and certainly one of the most important inventors and inventors in American history, and that is Mr. Thomas Alva Edison. And uh, today we're going to recreate one of his most uh, significant and well-known inventions. As you might guess, it's the nice incandescent light bulb. For our experiment, we're behind the scenes in the Spark Labs prep lab area in the laboratory space here in the, in the, in the prep lab. But what we've got here is we've, we've, we've produced four different uh, light bulbs and we've made them out of, uh, out of these little uh, glass jars that you can buy at a craft store. They come with the cork and we've just simply pushed the wire through the cork and created a, uh, a metal filament inside. And the filament of the light bulb is the part that glows red hot, and it's also the part that, uh, when, it, when it glows, it produces the light that we, we see. So the, the filament is the, the glowing part here of the bulb. We're going to try our experiment with four different uh, types of material for the filaments. Now we know originally Edison used paper and then bamboo and then tungsten, which was a metal. And uh, so we're going to try four different types of metal here. Copper wire, aluminum foil, uh, some steel wire from a picture frame uh, hanging wire and uh, nickel chromium wire, wire called nichrome. And uh, for a power source, we we like to we've tried several different batteries, and what we've gotten the best results from are these uh, six volt lantern batteries that you can buy at a hardware store or at a camping supply or uh, the big box stores. Um, these are these are actually fairly easy to find. We're going to try the bulb with the copper filament first. So there's a copper wire uh, filament, and we're just simply going to touch these two wires to the, the leads on the battery. And is anything happening? No. So let's try our next sample here. It's an aluminum foil. So we've just cut a simple strip of aluminum foil like you have at home and attached it across the, across the, uh, the wires here. Let's try this out. Let's just simply touch it to the battery. And still nothing seems to be happening. Um, so in this case, since copper and aluminum foil didn't work, I thought we would try a piece of steel wire. Okay, and we actually took this from a, a piece of picture frame hanging wire and just simply um, unwound it and pulled off one of the one of the strands. So we have a thin strand of uh, steel wire. Go ahead and plug that into the bulb. And let's go ahead and attach this to the battery. And it gets red hot. And it seems to be seems to be working, right? The problem with uh, the steel wire is, if we can take this out carefully and look at, oops, it actually broke when I was taking it out, but here we go. You can actually see that the steel was burning, and even if I, if I rub my fingers on it, you can see there's soot here on my fingers where the steel was actually burning. And so eventually what's going to happen with this is the steel is going to burn up and cause the light bulb to burn out in a, in a very short time. Our last, uh, our last test bulb here is we're using a, a, a wire called nichrome, and uh, these are oftentimes used for in science experiments uh, because it has a very high uh, melting point and it also has a lot of resistance in the wire, so it doesn't quite conduct electricity um, very well. But that that really in this case makes it uh, makes it a good uh, a good test candidate here. Let's go ahead and connect it to the to the battery, and look at that. It's uh, glowing pretty brightly. If we leave it on here, we can see how long this will actually this will actually glow. But it glows uh, fairly well. And so, although it's not as bright as it's not nearly as bright as a modern bulb, it is bright enough to. Um, to demonstrate how well those the early light bulbs would have um, would have worked. Okay. 
so we have a winner, the micro. This wraps up our Edison light bulb experiment. You can find a whole list of uh, hands-on invention activities at our website, www.sparklab.si.edu. And so, until next time, be innovative.